Hey guys, so I'm doing a face mask here um, and was figuring I would participate in some tag video. Um, so I just got done watching the bad, the boring, and the uninspiring makeup tag from 90s Love Child and um, I felt like, why not? So I have the questions here. Um, Abby Williamson, Smoky Glow, and um, 90s Love Child have done this. There's been lots of other people that have done it before. Um, I think Samantha March does these as well. Um, but I figured why not? Um, I don't do a lot of tag videos and maybe I should change that. Uh, comment down below if you're into tag videos and if you'd like to see more on my channel maybe next time without a face mask um, this is a luminous glowy mask from wonder beauty um, it's a peel off mask so i'm just kind of waiting for it to set um so there's 10 questions and um the first question is a foundation finish you do not like. Um, a foundation finish that I don't like, I would have to say is luminous because um, it does this. I have a lot of texture from acne. Uh, I had really bad acne when I was a teenager and I have a lot of scarring uh, and luminosity seems to bring that out. I still am obsessed with highlighters but um, just a luminous primer or luminous foundation seems to make my skin just look really bad and and just I don't like it. <laughs> um, so the worst mascara I've ever tried. Honestly, I can't think of a bad mascara that I've ever tried. Um, yeah, I can't think of one I don't like. Um, I mean, I'm still on the fence with Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. I have a mini. Um, but I also received a full size in my epoxy charm. Um, so I'm going to try that and see, you know, I'm going to use up what I've got so far with the better than sex. I'm starting to like it a little bit more, but at first I, I hated it. So, um, we'll go with that for my answer. Um, something I tried once and threw away. I have never done that. I am a bit of a makeup hoarder. Um, if you've seen my video, I have a video, um, should be up by now. Um, it's of me cleaning my makeup table. And then there's a video after that of everything that I've decided to get rid of during that video. Um, I'm a makeup hoarder. <laughs> Uh, I can say that legit because other people have come and seen my makeup collection and I have been called a hoarder of many things including makeup so um, yeah I can't say I ever have used one thing one time and thrown it away. Uh, the most boring eyeshadow palette I own. Um, I would say Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam is the most boring I mean I like it it gives me some good looks um, but I think any neutral palette is boring so for me um, I would say that one because that's the most neutral palette I think I own um, makeup trend you think is boring and want to go away um, can't think of any just those crazy trends that don't make any sense those 
those can go. Uh, but overall, just the way we do our makeup today, I wish I could figure out contouring and, and bronzing, but not anything that I want to go away besides those weird crazy fads, but um, I kind of like seeing those because it's like, what, how did you come up with that? Uh, the worst liquid lipstick you've ever tried. I have so many too. Um, well, it depends. If it's glossy, I would have to say That's a really hard question. That's probably the hardest question of this whole thing. And I'm trying to think. Um, I can't think of one. There was one. Um, it was a glossy, I think it was from Maybelline. Uh, I will put the answer in the comments if I come up with one. Um, what color do you think is the most boring one? Browns, nudes, I think those are boring. Black to me is a nude. Um, that is my nude. That is like my everyday, goes with anything color. Um, anything brown, just brown is boring. Um, what brand do you think is coming out with the most boring things? I have to agree, it's Urban Decay. And that's the same one that Soraya had from 90's Love Child. And it's for the same reason. Uh, they used to come out with the most edgiest makeup and it used to be so cool, but they haven't really they haven't really hit it out of the park for me. Um, the packaging for the Game of Thrones collection was cool, but the palette itself just was boring. Uh, the only thing good from that whole collection, I would say, are the brushes because they were super cool, but I uh, never, I didn't buy it. So. Um, which step in your makeup routine is the most boring one? Um, I would have to say lashes or foundation. I really hate doing foundation. Uh, if you haven't seen me on a lot of my videos lately, I've actually been doing um, no foundation looks like Jay Kissa. Um, but unlike her, I don't have good looking skin. Uh, but I just feel like foundation, I no matter what I do, I can't get it to look right. And it just ruins the makeup look. And I'm, I'm trying different foundations. And yeah, it may look good on camera, but I can't get it to look good in real life. Like, I'm just tired of messing with it. And I'm so tired of being red. Like it's worse in summer and like I'm super pale but my face is always so red and my fingertips too um, if I had to choose between a good base and a bad eye look or a good eye look and a bad base If I could achieve a good base, then I would be okay with a bad eye look. 
but I don't have good skin. Partially while I'm doing face masks, try to help with that. Um, I have a lot of texture. My chin's really bad around my nose. Um, and my cheeks up in here. So I would go with bad base, good eye look because that's 90% of the time what I end up with because my skin's just terrible. So that is my version of this tag video. Uh, please subscribe, like this video, and I tag you. Let me know if you do this tag. Leave your link down below in my comments and I will check it out. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next video. Bye.